so let's save it and close it over here let's save it and close it and then let's see what happens going back to my balance sheet running it running and scrolling down we've got the interest payable 72.92 MUI b to the n it's a journal entry type of form if i go into it we go into the debits and the credit side of things i'm going to put this adjusting entry thing on both sides for the memo description there's there it is in debit and credit format and so we're going to say okay and scrolling up top again the other side's on the income statement and we put it down here somewhere into interest interest expense this seems to only be going for January 022823. K with that. Let's see. I thought I wanted this on a side by side. What in the world happened? It's not how I things are supposed to be. So uh, interest expense. So if I go into interest expense, then there's the 72 on this side. So that looks good. So now in theory we've got this correct now. As of, as of the cutoff date, it's a classic adjusting entry. We've got uh, an income side to it and a balance sheet side to it. Uh, but it might actually mess up the accounting department who was, re was, was thinking they're just going to record a normal journal entry according to the amortization schedule in March. Therefore, we might want to do a reversing entry for this.